head start on this. Um, all right, so first of all, guys, knowing the power rule, we have two functions separated by multiplication, right? So when we have our two functions separated by multiplication, we know we're going to take the derivative of the first one. So escaping, um, so therefore, it's basically we're going to have as dy dx over 2 thirds x cubed plus 6x minus 2 times 4 squared of x minus 6 plus the first term, 2 thirds x cubed plus 6x minus 2 times d over dx of 4 square root of x minus 6. Does everybody follow what I did here? I'm not using the fg of x formation, I'm just using derivative of an expression formation. But it's the same thing. f prime of x, g of x. f of x, g prime of x, right? It's the same thing. So let's go ahead and take the derivative here. When we go ahead and take the derivative, we're going to be left with 2x squared plus 6 times 4 to the x to the 1 half minus 6 plus here we're left with 2 thirds x cubed plus 6x minus 2 and then the derivative over here is going to be 2 x to the negative 1 half minus 6. There wouldn't be a 6. There wouldn't be a 6. Thank you. Yes? Oh. Okay. okay. So, I mean, this is, doesn't look like much work, but it's not like crazy rocket science, guys. You're just doing stuff you already know how to do to simplify this, right? So let's just go ahead and simplify this just to see if we get any terms that are going to combine, okay? Um, so if we multiply this here, we're going to get uh, 8x. Now if I add 2 plus 1 half, right, because remember when you're multiplying fractions, you are, um, now again, this is technically the derivative. I'm just simplifying and see if I can simplify it even further. Um, that's going to be roughly gone over uh, to one half, which would be uh, four over two plus two over two, so that's going to be five halves. Then this is going to be minus twelve x squared plus twenty four x minus thirty six, and then over here, I'm just going to multiply this times each and every one of these terms. So again, remember you're just adding the powers. So if I want to rewrite this, this is the same thing as six over three. I'm oh, sorry, I need this to be two, right? Six over two. And this is really two over two. Do you guys see how I'm just rewriting the powers with the correct like base as the power? It just helps me, at least in my math, when I'm doing this. So here I'm gonna have four thirds. Um, x to the uh, 5 halves. Here I'm going to have plus 6x to the 1 half. And then this last one, nope, I'm sorry, that's going to be 12. 12x to the 1 half. And then last but not least, we'll have negative 4x to the negative 1 half. Yes, I think the 24x is one half. I'm oh, sorry? The 24x has a one half. Where is the 24x? Uh, oh, yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Okay, so now we have some combined like terms. Ooh, cool. Did you guys agree? Okay, so this is really four thirds, so this can be rewritten. Um, instead of eight being eight rewritten in 24 thirds would be, let's see, eight, 16, 24 thirds. Would you guys agree it's the same thing as eight? Mm -hmm. Yes? Yeah. Okay, so 24 thirds plus four thirds is gonna be 28 thirds, x to the five halves. And then let's kind of go into sending order here, so that's gonna be then minus 
12x squared. Then we'll do, um, that's x is 0, so then 1 half. So 24 plus 12 is going to be plus 36 x to the 1 half minus 36 minus 4 x to the negative 1 half. Did I get the right answer?